everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be using the John Deere 755 and that little polarizer attachment behind it. We're going to be just freshening up the driveway, cleaning out some ditches, hauling in some new stone, getting it all spread out. Lots of good stuff today. Also a project we worked on with the girls since everybody's home from school right now. And an awesome, awesome sunset cruise with the drone with a barge. It's a pretty good shot. You're going to want to stay tuned to check that out at the end.
right, now here you get some stone. Mike's got the chainsaw in here. Must be getting ready to install a new radio, I suppose. Let's see here. just got done put some fuel in the tandem down here we're down at dirt perfect slot and he has some stone left over if you remember when we put all the millings down for the derby market we graded up all that stone we threw it in a pile and there's still some of that stone left so it's relatively inexpensive compared to buying new fresh rock so that's what we're going to use dang it that would have been a really cool shot we just put the bucket on because the forks were on anywho you guys get the idea we're putting the stone in the back of the truck we're taking it to the house it's affordable and it fits the budget all right So we're getting ready to spread. I'm gonna back up to the camera to get a little bit more of a dramatic shot here. There you go, that's perfect. One thing about spreading, you got your box up in the air, obviously, and it takes all a lot of weight off of the steer tires. Check out, I'm getting ready to go to a drone shot. Check out my steer tires. Look how much that front end tries to push on me. I had two options, you either ride it out or you start over. I decided to ride it out. It ended up not too bad. I'm a little too far to the right, but not a big deal. We got the tractor, we'll get it fixed up. So you can see down there at the beginning where it uh, pushed on me and it got a little squirrely. Not a big deal. We'll get her fixed up. The bad news is the drone runs out of battery. The GoPro runs out of battery. You get a little bit of a shot here of me working on it. I do have a finished shot of it with the drone so you can see how it all turned out. And like I said, we're getting ready to work on a project with the kiddos, which was a lot of fun. And then we have that awesome sunset drone shot of a barge going down river. By the way, if you can hear the coffee maker in the background, that's because I'm working on this Thursday morning. If you're new to the channel, I try to upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. That's my upload schedule. Typically, they're around 20 minutes long, so that's what we've going on. If you like what you see so far, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for the rest of the video.
All right, so here's what we ended up with. And I, I want to say a couple things. If I had a road drag, I would use it. It would definitely make the process a little faster. But that being said, I would still use that pulverizer to get that road broken up before I use the road drag. It just does such a good job of getting that base broken up and bringing everything to the top. And the nice thing about having the pulverizer on the back is I can jump back and forth between, you know, that little ditch work there on the left and the road. I don't have to sit there and switch implements. So is it the perfect tool? No, but it gets the job done and I do really like using it. It does have a pretty good result. And if you look at the top right hand of your screen there, a little bit of a spoiler alert for an upcoming video. We did a little bit more work on the YouTube Yacht Road. So be sure to stay tuned for that later this week. All right, so we're doing something a little different today. We're doing doing some modifications to the old uh, little tree house here. Lillian's getting a head start on us with the impact. This old slide out. Let me see what you got here. I can't get it. Ah, okay. That one's a little stripped. Here, hold the camera for me. Oh, okay. Hello. Let me see if we can get her. You can see, I can see you, sissy. That's long. That's very. All right, let me see the camera. Here you go. Cora, you stay back. That's a loopy loop. Well, and you can have the honors. Give that slide a toss. I found the last wind of smell. Just kick it off to the side. Left or right? You got it. There you go. <laughs> All right. So. Stay with us, and I'll show you what the heck we're putting in, in its place. All right? Oh, screams. All right, so the reason we're taking this slide down is that one has just always been too steep, and every time they go down it, they end up rocketing across the driveway with minor injuries. So we're swapping it out for a rock wall. That's what they asked for, and if they're willing to put the work in, I'm certainly willing to get them the materials. All right, so I'm getting the final inspection for this part. That is a rock. We did good. That's what we were supposed to put there. This is nothing more than just five quarter deck board and treated two by fours. We'll do something to knock all this rough edge off in a second. But the next thing we're going to do. Made of wood. It is made of wood. See, we're passing this inspection with flying colors. So this is number one. Here's what we're going to do. Cora, you pick the color. Lily, you pick where we're going to put it. So we're going to start on the first board. This is number one. Put number one where you want it. Green. In the direction you want it. Okay. You gotta hold it real tight, babe. Is it gonna stay well? Okay. Number one. Green. All right. This is Cora's number two. Just like right on the back. Okay. Where do you want number two? Same board. Somewhere different. I see it. Okay. Hold it real tight. All right. Cora, what's the next one? Blue. Okay, this is number. Um. I'll just write it on here. Three. Real small for you. Three. Yeah, this is number three. So we're on. So one random thing I want to do on this video, guys, just because we're working on a little bit of a dad project, put your best dad joke in the comments. I think everybody could use a good laugh right now. I know I certainly could. Plus, I just need some new dad jokes for all these summer projects we got with the girls. So we went through, got all these little fake rocks. You can see the number on there? The youngest picked out the color. The oldest picked out where it goes. I got to go through and drill all the holes, and then we'll match up the number on the fake rock with the number on the board. All right, so we're on the back side. We gotta get all these, I call them T-nuts. I don't really know what they're called, but this is what I'm talking about. These fellers here. I'm just gonna show you the way I put these in. I'm sure there's a million ways, but let me show you the way I do it so I don't smash my fingers. Lillian, could you hold my camera for me? Point right at that hole right there. Get close. All right, so I, from the back side, thread the nut bolt in backwards. Thread enough that the bolt actually sticks in the hole to line it up. And then you just tap the bolt a couple times. It sets it. Back your bolt out. Well, boom. No smashed fingers. Anywho, that's those. Let's see if we can get these rocks on. <laughs> there you 
There you go, figure the route out. I'm gonna help you up here since there's no handlebars yet. Come on, Corey, you can do it. Come on, get a grip, get a grip. Good job! All right, we had a great time building that. Of course, the architects and engineers and builders butted heads a few times, but in the end, we had a really good time, and the end result turned out pretty nice. They've been playing on that thing nonstop since it's been finished, so we'll call that a success. There will be clips of us working on projects like that in some of the videos. It's just the way it is right now. Everybody's home, and if they're going to be here, they're going to be a part of it. It's just as simple as that. They will be short segments like that, so if you don't like it, you can always just skip past it to the next segment. So, speaking of next segments, we are doing another drone barge flyover. You can see the trees are starting to bloom, which is awesome. We love the green scenery around here. This is a downriver tow. He has 12 barges on. It looks like the first three barges are empty, just because of how shallow they're drafting. A lot of you guys ask what they haul in these covered barges. You'll see it when we get closer. Most times, it's some sort of agricultural thing, so it's probably a grain of some sort. Now. A little bit of a channel update. I just ordered two things that should be coming in the mail soon. One is a set of chaps, because everybody's on me about chaps, and it, I should have chaps. So I did order a set of chaps for out in the woods, and I ordered a marine radio. So I should be able, hopefully soon, to start communicating with some of these pilots and captains as they're going upriver and downriver and get a little bit more information about what they're hauling, and maybe have some radio traffic for some background noise during these shots. So that's exciting. Also, I've been talking to, we have uh, one of my subscribers is a pilot on the Ohio River and he actually passed Derby the other night around 10.30. We were trying to collaborate and get together so we could do a drone flyover and he could be out waving and stuff. It just didn't work out timing wise, it was nighttime, but he did send me some pictures of the inside of the wheelhouse on the boat he's on. So in an upcoming video, we'll have some pictures of that, have a little bit of a photographic tour of what the inside of some of these tow boats look like. So we got that coming up as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope everybody's having a, the best time they can with everything that's going on. Stay healthy, stay happy, and as always, we'll catch you guys on the next one.